So, for instance, uh, this is a small example of the balancing symbols, right? Balancing symbols. Let's see this. So, this is perfectly okay, uh, uh, the formula, right? How about this? This is perfectly all right formula. This is not because the, this brackets correspond all right, but this parenthesis don't, doesn't correspond, right? So, how can you check this balancing? Uh, so this is, these brackets are, the symbol brackets are, or parentheses bra brackets are the balanced here. Symbols are not balanced here, right? How can you just count the opening and closing symbols? The one bracket, this here we have one bracket opening, one bracket closing, and one parenthesis opening, one parenthesis uh, closing. So it all matches out, but Actually, it doesn't add up. It, do, it doesn't balance. It is not balanced. So simple counting doesn't work here. Actually, the algorithm to check the balancing of the symbol uh, is very simple. So we are going to make an empty stack, empty stack, and we are going to read in symbols until and until uh, the end of the formula. So what we are going to do is that we are going to put symbols here. So we are going to put symbol like the brackets here, right? And then uh, brackets opening and the parenthesis opening, right? And parenthesis closing and bracket closing, right? So we are going to, um, oh, sorry, actually the, it shouldn't work like this. So I'm going to just erase it for a second. I was a little bit off track. So. What we are going to do is the read symbols until the end of the formula, right? Uh, in this tag, and if the symbol is an opening symbol, push it onto this tag, right? So if it is an opening bracket, uh, we are going to take uh, care of this one. If it is an opening bracket, uh, opening uh, opening symbol, we are going to put it, push it. So opening bracket, right? When opening parenthesis, we are at this moment and we are all inserted we all inserted the opening symbols and if it is isn't closing symbols do the following if the stack is empty report an error otherwise pop the stack if the symbol popped does not match the closing symbol report an error so we made a closing uh, closing symbol and we are going to pop it and the popped item is the opening parenthesis and we have closing parenthesis in matches up so we don't report this we don't report this and then this goes away and then we meet the uh, closing bracket and we pop it right we pop it and then this matches up we don't um, uh, we don't uh, report an error here and at the end of the formula if the stack is not empty report an error but it's popped so it's gone, so stack is empty, so it's right, okay? Uh, how about the, this case, how about this case? So how about this case? We have this empty stock, we have opening brackets here, we have opening parentheses here, right? And then we have closing uh, symbol, so we are going to pop one thing, and this is the opening parentheses, and the, we have closing brackets, and the type doesn't match. This type doesn't match, so we, we, are, we are going to report an error here. So things work like this, okay? And how about the last example? Uh, okay, so I'm going to erase it for a second. And then, okay, we have this uh, example, and then we have opening parentheses, uh, opening like curly bracelet curly brace like this and uh, we have opening bracket like this and we have opening parenthesis like this and then we have closing parenthesis and we are going to pop it and the uh, the pad, uh, the time matches so it doesn't report an error and we have we pop the one uh, parenthesis so uh, stack looks like this and then after the brackets hits uh, time matches all right and then we have this empty uh, we have this uh, stack and then we have this curly brace and the time matches and we have empty stack and then right so at the end of the formula the stack is empty so we don't report an error so this is all right this is balanced uh, formula 
So that's the how we can check the balancing of the symbols. And in this operation, we used stacks to facilitate the balancing check. Right? So that's the basic operations of stacks. Pretty easy, right? After uh, having done so much about the uh, linked list, um, it's much easier to perform uh, the do the alternation on the other uh, data structures. It's actually pretty easy. So um, please try this uh, in your main uh, script editors and main consoles, and you will see that you, are, you already find out yourself that you run and you are able to implement two different data structures. And we are going to come back for the second part of this week uh, later, uh, this part two uh, of the week. Uh, I think four, and then uh, we are going to discuss about the queues, right?